Hey Scott here. Today I want to show you a video of a project that's kind of been in my brain for a long time. I just haven't gotten around to it. I bought all the parts like a year ago. And what it is is I want to put uh, electric ram, um, if that's what you want to call it, on the chute of my snowblower so that I could sit in the dash of my tractor and adjust the chute from there just by pushing a button. But in the meantime, until that actually happens, I'm going to just show you how the switch works. All right, so today I want to talk about using this electric ram on a piece of machinery. Uh, my plan for this ram is to put it on a snowblower to adjust the chute up and down or, um, yeah, pretty much or the direction of the chute. And so I got this off of Amazon. And how it works is basically a 12 volt ram. Right here I've got a 12 volt battery. And if I just take one of the connections here, connect it to one wire, and then touch the other wire. Alright, it's going to have to be reversed because that would make it go all the way in. Let's reverse these and you see the ram starts to come out. To make it go back in, now you reverse the polarity and it goes back in. Now obviously we don't want to be connecting these wires back and forth all the time so what we're going to do is we're going to use a switch like this that is a double pull double throw switch it's got six connections on the bottom this was purchased off of Amazon as well and it's pre-wired and how this is going to work is if you take a look at here I'll show you the other one I got I pulled it apart for you in the middle as you can see there is a Right here in the middle is a black wire and the opposite side in the middle is a red wire. So we're talking positive to the battery, negative to the battery. And here are the two wires that I pulled off of this, this other one. Now the other thing to pay attention to, these other wires, it might look a little bit confusing but it's really not. There are only other two other connections and you'll see they're, they're spliced together. So really simply, you take this one that's plugged into this corner here and a little pigtail extension, flip this around and plug it into the very diagonal opposite here. Okay. And the other one, same thing. So in this corner over here, plug it over here into the diagonal opposite there. Now you'll take the positive and the negative and it doesn't really matter which one it goes on. Put the positive on one tab, put the negative on the other tab, and that is how that switch is wired. So I know that this might look a little bit confusing at first seeing as how there are six connections here, but take a look at this. There's really only four wires to work with. And the red and the black are obvious, that's the power and, and, and the common. And then these other two wires will just go to the RAM. So let's hook them up and show you how it works. All right, so just using a couple of little wire nuts, I attach these two wires to the uh, electric RAM. It really doesn't make a difference which, which one. And then what we're gonna do now is take the positive from the battery here and the negative from the battery here. Make sure they don't touch each other. And then we move our switch. Ram comes out. Push the switch in the opposite direction. And the ram goes back in. So pretty simple. Now I would recommend too, if you are going to be hooking this up into a, a piece of equipment, you might want to get from the positive to the battery, you might want to put in like an inline fuse like this. But for the purposes of this video, I didn't bother. 
and again if I didn't already show you this is the DPDT switch and this is just some random company from Amazon so once again there you go hope that uh, cleared up any confusion you might have had and thanks for watching